All right, Mopar fam. We have a hole in the truck. Pretty big hole. What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. Today we're working on frostbite. We're doing something really cool with the exhaust. Let's check it out. Let's go over here and see what we got going on with frostbite. Could it be under the hood? No, it's not under the hood. What's going on over here? Oh, 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 oh. Well, I think I gave it away. There's a hole in the side of frostbite. To be exact, a hole in the side of the bed. All right, so we're gonna get kind of started to it here. We have some exhaust, uh, I don't know, I call them flanges, cutout flanges. These are aluminum, billet aluminum, and I got them from Summit Racing. That is the part number right there three and a half inch exhaust flange made in the US of the A comes with the bolts screws and bolts uh, to mount them to any location you may desire and for tools we have a little body saw here kind of like a sawzall but runs on air compressor we have my shop air compressor <laughs> in the back of frostbite hauler right now because my air compressor took a dump at the house and i need to go get another one so for the meantime i went and borrowed the one out of my shop these things kind of sound like uh the carnival rides back in the day the little uh little bumper cars and bumper boats and stuff yeah we got some drill bits we got some measuring devices other than that not a whole lot so we already have the passenger side done as you seen just a second ago we need to do the driver side so lucky for you guys i am going to video the whole process on the driver side and uh, you guys get to watch me cut a hole in frostbite another hole and uh, possibly shed a tear. I don't know. Perfectly good bed. About to have now two holes in it. So not a big deal. Not a big deal. I mean, we've already cut a hole in the bed for the fuel cell anyway. So heck, we might as well gut the whole floor out, right? Make it a race truck. So some of you guys are probably going to ask me, why didn't we put them here in front of the tire? Well, I wanted to. However, on the fourth gen ram trucks i don't know if it's all of them or maybe it's just the rt i'm not really sure but unfortunately there's this really cool body line right here in the middle that kind of screws up my whole idea otherwise i would put it there but then we'd be forced to try to bend that flange somehow to make that thing lay flat and i just don't want to fill and i just don't want to mess with all that and possibly it come out not looking like I want. So best thing to do for me is just avoid that body line period and put it back there where we have a flat panel. And that's what we're gonna do. Here is the cutout on the passenger side already done. Get zoomed in here. Oh yeah. She's a whole three and a half inches. Get some what? come out pretty good for eyeballing it you know um, as most of you guys know we are running right off of the long tube headers uh, with you know what some people call torque tubes but we got the I oh, can't really see with that big old torque storm in the way but JBA inch and seven eighths long tubes coming 
right down here. Bear with me. Get my fat butt under the truck. Oh, and there we go. You can see my little torque tubes right there dangling down right near the back of the transmission. So we're going to be running pipe, three inch pipe from nose all the way over the rear axle on both sides and run it flush with this exhaust flange. All right, Mopar fam, first step is you don't have to do this, but I went inside the house, I found my wife's favorite cup, and I cut the top of it off. Now you don't have to do this, but I did it because sitting the flange up here to the body, there's not a lot sticking out to be able to get a marker in there to mark it. So I found a cup inside the house, the wife's favorite cup, that fits over that flange really tight, so it gives me a nice, tight circle. That is perfect size that we need to cut out, because remember, the hole has to be just slightly bigger than that flange, so the flange can slide in there. But not too big that your bolts don't have anything to grab. But that gives me a good almost inch of flange to stick onto the truck here and build a market all the way around. So that's what we did. So now that we have our, our custom tool from the Weiss Pantry, let's get this thing marked. And we're gonna use my special superpowers vision to eyeball this thing to dead center exactly where we want it. Hot damn hell yeah. That's a trademark of uh, Hot Damn Racing Team, by the way. Well, that right there is what I call perfectly square level and exactly where we want it by custom vision right there. Hot damn. Now the only thing we gotta do is destroy this evidence. Now the next thing we're gonna need is a drill, drill bit, and I also have a step bit. We're gonna drill a hole on the inside of the circle, not on the outside, inside the circle. And sorry for the birds and the dogs chirping, or excuse me, sorry for the birds and the dogs barking, but it is what it is. So we're gonna drill that hole on the inside of the circle. Now we're gonna get our step bit. And that is what a step bit looks like, kind of like an ice cream cone, just backwards. Well, I guess it depends on which way you hold it. Anyway, now we're going to make the hole. We're going to try to get it just on the inside of that line. 
and make the hole large enough so our saw bit or our saw blade will fit through that hole. There we go. Now we're going to get our bumper boat saw that we got straight from the carnival. All right, we got our tool straight from the carnival. I'm telling you, doesn't that remind you of being a kid? That dang compressor. All right, so what we're gonna try to do now with this blade is we're gonna try to cut on the inside of the green line that I have marked. So we're gonna try to leave the green line or green circle on the truck, just cut the inside of it out and we're going to do that with our special tool straight from the carnival. I'm telling you, if this don't remind you of those little, those little rides at the carnival where you go in circles, like the little motorcycles and bumper boats and uh, all that kind of stuff with the little horns. I'm telling you, carnival. All right, here we go. No turning back. Fire in the hole. Also, I'm not... Also, Mopar Motorsports is not responsible for you messing up your truck bed. Alright Mopar fam, we have a hole in the truck, pretty big hole, moment of truth, see if it fits, oh Billy, oh Billy, it just fits in there, it's so good, so good, alright, now we're going to get our green marker, and we are going to mark our first hole and then go ahead and put a screw in so it kind of holds it down and then mark the rest drill them out bolt them up let's do it all right for this operation we have the drill bit we have our flange we have three actual different drill bits i got a little bitty one that i'm going to use for a pilot hole and then we're going to go up a little bit to a bigger one and I'm going to finish it off with my step bit. Grain marker has to be green. Don't know why, but it has to be green. Flange, put the bolts however you like. We're going to kind of do it uh, one at the top, one at the bottom kind of deal. Green marker. Mark said hole, remove said flange, pilot hole. Oh yeah. Now we got a little hole. Now we're gonna make it a bigger hole. Oh, we don't wanna wobble it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Also, you don't want to push too hard uh, when you're drilling into the side of these beds. It's pretty thin. So you may bend it, especially if you heat up the metal, if you don't have a really good bit. Uh, we're going to swap out two 
step bit. All right, so we have a screw and we're gonna go up in the hole size a little bit. All right, our screw fits through there. And it looks like quarter inch would be the exact hole size. Now we're gonna get our flange. Put our screw through there. And then we're gonna get one of our nuts. Insert the said nut on the back. And it kind of requires one of those, uh, kind of get that thing, the, the two fingers going in the back, back there, me mechanic style. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, Fro uh, frostbite likes it. There we go. Ah, there, huh, yeah. Now we're gonna get said green marker again. And we're gonna put a good old dot down here on the bottom. Go to the little drill bit, drill it out. Oh, it goes right in there. Bigger drill bit. And finally, step bit. And we're gonna get another screw and a nut. Then we're gonna get our nut back there and do the old mechanic two finger dilly thing again. I don't know what it is. Women always wonder how we learned that so good back there. I don't know. There you go. One on top, one on the bottom. Now we're gonna go side to side. Green marker. Little drill bit. And drill them out. Bam, bam, bam. Now since we have two holding it pretty sturdy, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and mark all of them and we're gonna drill them all because it shouldn't move. There we go. We got the dot 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 cooking in the crock pot. You know, I'm really, I'm, <clears throat> you know, I'm really surprised my little cheese drill is making it through this. I don't even, this, this, what is it? This is like a rock wall, whale? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. House drill, it works good. Makita's at work. What do you do? But hey, it's getting her done. It's getting her done, Chuck. All right, bigger bit.
gonna go to the old step bit and bring it on up to the quarter inch. Now that we got all of our drilling done, we're going to take our little blow gun and we're going to give this thing a little blow off. And now we're going to put the rest of our screws and our nuts in. Don't forget the nuts. And this time we're going to go lefty style with the two finger mechanic uh, finger job here. Oh, where's it at? Uh, yeah, it's like butters every time. It's like professional. Bam, bam, bam. Oh yeah, getting her done. All right, need one more screw, Jimmy. And there you go. Driver's side exhaust flange installed. Now we just gotta tighten it up. I think I'm gonna save you guys the drama and the agony of watching me tighten up these bolts. I think you guys get the drift. It takes a 10 millimeter wrench. And, uh, well, I'm using a ratchet with a socket Allen hand, with a socket Allen head. 5.30 seconds, that is. So, that's all it is, guys. So, till the next time, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, put a comment down there what you guys are working on, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.